All right, the derivative of 5x to the power 5x. So let's get started. Before we get started, please subscribe to the channel. Also hit the notification bell so that you're notified every time I upload an interesting problem. So let's get started with this one. Now the first thing I'm going to do is to just let y to be equal to this function here. That makes it a little bit easier. So we have 5x to the power 5x. Now notice in this problem, I don't have brackets, maybe something like this. So the power of 5x is really not on the whole, you know, the base is not 5x. It's just the x that is having the power of 5x, all right? So we've got to be careful about that. Okay, one more thing. Let's put natural logarithms on both sides because this is a power that is a function of x. So this is not a normal case you know, where we have x to the power n and we just increase the power by 1 and, you know, drop the power, something like that, right? So let's introduce natural logs on both sides. So I'll have the log of y equals the natural log of 5x to the power 5x. All right, there we go. So I have to deal with this a little more, you know, uh, further, so natural log of y equals, I cannot drop the power of 5x behind here at this moment because this power is only on the x, it's not shared by the 5, all right? So let me go ahead and expand this. This is going to be the natural log of 5 plus the natural log of x to the power 5x, okay, from the fundamental laws of logarithms. If I combine this, if there is addition, then I'll just multiply these two and I'll get back to this, all right? So let's take derivatives now. The derivative of natural log of y, that's 1 over y, dy, dx, right? The derivative of natural log of 5, natural log of 5 is an ordinary number, it's just a number, so that's a zero. And then the derivative of this, I don't know that yet, Okay, in fact, I think I should just, you know, write this before. So let's say natural log of y equals natural log of 5 plus, let, let's now, we can drop the power, of course, now. So that's 5x natural log of x, all right? Okay, that's better now. So let's take derivatives, 1 over y dy dx equals the derivative of natural log of 5 is a 0. So 5x natural log of x so let's use product rule here so just write 5x if i keep that constant the derivative of natural log of x is 1 over x plus if i keep natural log of x constant the derivative of 5x is just a 5 so we're almost there just divide this space All right so let's go ahead so dy dx or dy over dx equals y times, so this x and this x will cancel out. Oops. So we'll remain with 5, right? Plus, is that a 5? Yes, 5 plus 5 times the natural log of x. Okay, so I can just pull out this 5, 2, so that becomes 5y you know, 1 plus the natural log of x, but this is a derivative with respect to x, so let me substitute back for y, I put there x, so that's going to be 5 times, okay, here we go with our y, that's 5x to the power 5x, open brackets, 1 plus the natural log of x, so finally 5 times 5, that's 25x to the power 5x, 1 plus the natural log of x, right? Yeah, so it's an interesting problem, especially uh, on the very first few steps. So thanks for watching this video. Please subscribe to the channel. Uh, I upload content regularly about interesting problems in math and physics, and I'll see you in my next problem or in my next video. Thanks for watching.